everybody, it's Melanie and Jill with Retail Therapist. I'm gonna show you some of the cool hard goods we've been listing today. It's kind of like a haul video, but like later in the process. So Molly from Consignment Chats, if you're watching, this totally counts as a haul video. Okay, let's jump in. We have, we do really well with animal figurines. So we have several of these that interestingly, and that with an, several animal figurines that are not marked, but they're large and they're in excellent condition and they're just really cool, very dynamic, lots of movement. I think this is a sailfish. I listed it as a sailfish. Um, so I looked at all the different types of sharks and did a little bit of research. I was like, you know what? I think it's a sailfish. I'm going with sailfish. It's polished wood. It looks like it's carved from one piece and it's just, it's just got the cool factor. It's very, very cool. So that went up. Speaking of cool, freaking love this guy. Again, unmarked, no clue, no clue, you know, who it could be, but it's got the crackle glaze all over and it's like kind of a thin turquoise glaze. And it's again, very dynamic. You can see the wind just like going through his mane. He's got his mouth open. We listed him at about 95. We probably will go up more just, just based on cool factor. Don't be afraid to go high. If you think it's a really cool standout piece, go high and see what happens. You never know. And also you never know, hopefully you're cross posting, you never know from platform to platform because you can get a little bit more on different platforms. Like we can get a little bit more on Etsy than we can on eBay, but we can get a little bit more on Cherish than we can on Etsy. We have this. This looks old. It is more vintage inspired than it is actually vintage. I believe this was released in 2003 by Quizol, Q-U-O-I-Z-A-L-E-L, -L. but it has all the parts on it. These, the, it does have some cabochon and some faceted glass beads. It's just freaking fantastic. It's a semi flush mount. It actually has another extender that goes on top. And then it has three beads, three strands of beads that you would put from the top up to the ceiling. So very cool on that one. I wanna say, I wanna say I listed that at 150, but I don't remember. Cause you know, I'm getting old. Okay, this one I was not able to identify. This is, it is vintage. And let me show you the stamp on the bottom. If anybody knows anything about this, let me know. Uh, it's a covered fish baker or like an oval casserole baker. And it's in the style of Polish pottery. More than likely it is Polish pottery. It does look to be hand painted with the birds and the yellow flowers. So it's got the one and it's got this stamp right here. I did do a little bit of research, but it's fantastic condition. I love the lip on it. So when you put the lid on it, it goes down. It actually rests down inside. It's a nice thick ceramic, just, Fantastic condition, chef's kiss, wonderful. Okay, this is a unicorn. So this, again, this is unmarked, but this is Kmart, and it, they call this the rocket base for obvious reasons. And it does have, this one does have, I think I, I feel like I showed this to you guys before. Um, it does have a little hairline crack. So we did list this, I don't remember. I don't remember, and I don't even have a cheat sheet, but that's okay, because we're gonna get you that information. Okay, so that is the K-Mark, C-A-M-A-R-K, the Rocket Vase. If you see something that has these buttresses, definitely pick it up. This paint is kind of in the style of like a Bauer or a Roseville or McCoy. A lot of the, the pottery from back around the 30s and 40s kind of had that same semi-matte or matte finish. Okay, these are false, this is a set of six. These are false scrap Villa Della Luna. Now we do pretty good with dishes. We do pick up dishes, but we've gotten pickier through time. These are pedestal mugs. The false scrap, not all false scrap is the same and not all false scrap is worth picking up. However, the Villa Della Luna is a good pattern. That's what it looks like. Also, even in some patterns that don't have a good sell through rate, certain pieces are good to pick up. Pedestal mugs are almost always good to pick up if the pattern made a pedestal mug, may not have always had a pedestal mug. Serving pieces are usually good to pick up if it's kind of a cool serving piece, especially, and also if it's something that might complement um, like fiesta wear or something that's really popular. 
then it's okay to pick up. Like I said, we have a set of six of these. So I'm just gonna put these to the side. And I'm gonna show you this. Okay, this is a high, super high-end luxury watch brand. This particular, this is the box only. The box only, you guys. And check it out, it does, it is flawed. So there's the name on that. Don't be afraid to pick this stuff up. I actually listed this, believe it or not, for $50, even with the flaw. I have it listed for $50. And we got an offer on it the same day we listed it. it. Wasn't a very good offer, so we didn't take it. But that shows that there is interest. This particular design is from the 70s. This is a green marble leatherette with gold painted coins on there. And again, super high end. I would say if you come across that watch, even if it's in terrible condition, pick it up because you're probably gonna, depending on what you're paying for it, you're probably gonna make some money. This, so this is another unmarked animal figurine. This is a road runner. I know it seems kind of random. Growing up, I actually, my family actually had a road runner. I don't know, my dad used to work in national bars. I don't know, they just picked up a road runner. But this is another soft, polished solid wood piece. It does have a little mark right there. So I think I only listed this for like maybe 50 or 60 because of that mark. I'm not sure if that's a watermark or if something was supposed to be on there, but you've got the petrified wood base and you've got wire legs. He's very, again, very dynamic in motion. So I love that silhouette where he's just, it's almost like a pointer dog. He's like, you know, he's on it. He's going after it. These are so interesting, you guys. I had never seen anything like these. These are studio pottery measuring cups. Aren't those freaking cool? So this is a one cup and they're double spouted. Love that. So obviously a cook is the one that made these. And this is a really beautiful kind of a pewter gray glaze. Freaking love it. The only one that's signed, this is this was a one cup, this is a two cup, and this is a four cup. The only one that is signed is the big one. I think that's a W, could be an M, really not sure, but very cool, kind of a drip. There's some drip going on, drip action. Those, those were just so unique, we just had to pick those up. And because they're unique, I did put them up for a little bit more than you would, even like high-end um, measuring cups. I'm like, they're cool. And I looked and there's just like, there's nothing else out there like it. So that's, um, it was definitely, I was like, I am definitely going high on that one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Okay, this is a parrot on like hammered or notched wood. Not signed, not signed you guys. Polished, carved on the top. Excellent work. Two-tone where there's a little two-tone action going on right there, two-tone on the beak. I believe these are glass eyes with that tail extending down, the tail feather extending down. This is just a really cool piece. This is not carved from a single piece. There is, you can kind of see that the bird on the perch, those were attached. Those are, those, those are two separate pieces. All right, this is the last thing I'm gonna show you because this is, you know, one of the things I love, we say there's three, three things to this business. When you find it, when you go treasure hunting and you find the thing and then you learn about the thing and then you sell the thing. So those are the three hits that always keep us coming back for more. French beaded flowers. There's probably a lot of you that know about them. This was a new thing for me. So we actually have three different, the other ones are still, still sitting over there waiting to be listed. We have three different ones. These I'm guessing are kind of like a stylized calla lily maybe. I put calla lily in the title, but I'm just really not sure exactly what these flowers are. If you know, comment. I want to know because I want to get it right. So, but this is framed in a shadow box. One of the pieces, so this came in a set of three, or there was three that came with this. This is glass on top of there. Um, there was three, and one of them on the back, it says made in the 1920s in Mexico. So these suckers, I'm guessing have been around for a minute. So that's kind of fun. Hard Goods always kind of kickstart our store and we have had some good sales. One of the best sales is Egrets and I will put a picture up there. They just, they sold overnight. I listed them two days ago and they sold that night. So, and they sold for good money too. So, but I think part of it, the picture was just so cool. So I will put that up there so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, but that's all we got for now. But you know, we are always rolling it out. And you know, when it comes to retail therapists, what you got to remember is if you can dream it, we probably have it. Y'all have a great day.